Hello and welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven and we are going to be looking at a do-it-yourself project kit that I purchased on Amazon. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, here it is. Now I'm hoping I'm saying this correctly, <laughs> but uh, it is a Miyoyao soldering practice kit LED desk lamp with adjustable brightness DIY electronic soldering project kits rechargeable gooseneck table light for beginners learning soldering or daily use oh my goodness I got that out on one breath so this is the lamp and it is dimmable and this is what it comes with all the parts and the pieces I will be putting a link uh, for this in the description so check that out if you would like to purchase one there's not too much to say about this other than let's just get going and do it we got to unbox it and then let's get to building it all right so <laughs> let's go get going this is blue tack <laughs> that's going to come in handy here in a little bit this is it so let's open it and see what's inside now this here does not come in the kit. I'm going to use this for this. Okay, this is the LED uh, panel for the lights. This is the gooseneck that goes on the stand, the base. And this is the base. And these are some more goodies. This is the cover for the LED lights. This is the circuit board that we're gonna be putting all the little pieces into. And let's see, what was this? I don't know. I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> so I don't know what that said. And this looks like a USB cord for powering it or charging it. And these are all the parts that will be used to build this. We're going to be looking at the, the uh, instruction manual, which I'm also, um, because they don't give you anything like that. But I did find one online, and I'm putting a link to it in the description. So you can have a step-by-step -step guide yourself, like we're going to do. And this is the battery. Okay, so let's get all the pieces laid out here. Yeah, I gotta be careful. There's little teeny pieces that would be easy to lose. So we don't wanna lose any pieces. There's a bunch of screws. There's a bunch of LED lights that go on the light panel. I haven't looked at this beforehand, so I'm hoping all the stuff is here that I need. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Yes, we will. Okay, so let's go to the destructions and follow along step by step. Okay, first we'll look at step one. Okay, install two pieces. I am 4148 diode. Pay attention to the installation direction. There is a black mark on 1N4148 and a white mark on the PCB, which are used to confirm the installation direction. And they both go, they go in D1 and D2. Wow, these things are so teeny. The black mark goes to the white mark on the board.
Okay, so that's that one in there. And this is so tiny. These little things are so tiny. And my eyes are not what they used to be. So I have to use gla uh, magnifying glass. The black line is with the light li white line. Okay, now step number two. Install two pieces of the 200 ohm metal film resistors. One goes to R1 200 and R2 200. And R2 200. And I guess maybe we could try to zoom in here a little bit. Might help things. Those are teeny. All right, and then the next, step three, two pieces of 10,000 ohm metal film resistors, which, and they go in R3, 10K, and R4, 10K. And that's these right here. And then after I put these in, then I'll solder up to this point. Okay, R3, 10K. And R4, 10K. And get get it set up to be soldered now hopefully you can see that let's turn the soldering iron on All right, let's clip some of these out of the way. Okay, I don't claim to be the best solder in the world because I'm not. <laughs> All right, let's go to step four. Install one my, uh, piece of a 0 0.001 microfarad, 102 ceramic capacitor at C5. C5, 102. 102. And the first one I picked up was a 102. What do you know about that? Okay, and that goes on C5. 
I guess that's why you do these little kits for somebody like me that doesn't do much soldering. <laughs> but it's good practice. And that's how you get better at soldering. So hopefully there won't be seasoned solderers watching me because they're going to be laughing. <laughs> okay, you know what? We can look at it this way. At least it will be entertaining, right? Truthfully, I have never in my life did anything like this. I'm just used to re-soldering stuff and soldering wires together for projects, but I have never, ever, ever in my life done anything like this. So please don't laugh at me looking like an idiot. All right, so step number five, three pieces, 0.1 microfarad, 104 ceramic. So three 104s at C1, C3, C4. Wow, C1 right there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Sorry, I have to use my magnifying glass. These are, I never, I wasn't thinking this was going to be so little, <laughs> so teeny. All right. And then another 104 at C4, which is right there. Okay, it's got twisted up. Okay, right there. C4, the second one. Let's bend these out. I learned that from BigClive.com. That's how he does it. And there's the other 104. And that one is going at C3, which is right there. And then let's solder this together. And then clean the soldering iron tip and then let's cut these down all right well you know what I'm gonna say not too bad for the first time in my life I've ever tried anything like this <laughs> all right Okay, now let's go to step number six. Install one piece, the micro USB pin. And that goes right like that. Those are two soldering pads as well. So let's go ahead and solder that. And this time, I think I'm gonna try a little flux liquid to make help it maybe flow better. Now the USB port is on there. And let's move on to step number seven. Let's see what that is. Cut one piece of this. So I have to break this in half to make two pieces of four pin. Then install them on U2. Note that the longer pin faces up. So that must be right there. Okay, we broke that, and we broke it apart. Said, make sure that the long pieces face up. The longer pin faces up. Okay. So let me try my blue tack this time.
Okay. So that appears that that went in pretty good. Now let's go on to step eight. Install one piece of the NE555 board on four pin mail pin. And there's a notch in the, uh, the NE555 that matches up with the notch in the board. So let's have a look-see. Okay, here is the NE555. Okay, so there we go. And push it down all the way on there. It's on there now. And the little notch in the NE555 matches up with the little notch on the silk screen on the board. Okay, so let's solder that down. there we go now that's soldered on okay so now let's go to step nine one piece bend pin ph2.0 to 5p socket at p2 the one with the bent pins goes at p2 all right there is Step nine installed at P2. When they came out, they were bent down, and I believe that's what it meant by bend to use the bend, the one that was bent already. All right, so step number 10. Oh, so yeah, it was because this one now says install one piece straight pin, which is this one, into. P3. So the straight pin would be this one. Yep. Got to make sure he put it around the right, the right way. Okay. It's quite relaxing. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. Um, if you can see that. So I am getting a little bit better as I go along here. Okay, so yeah, this is good for somebody that, like me, that uh, isn't very good at soldering. Okay, so let's move on to step 11. Okay, install the to 92ALJ2302, and it goes on to Q1. On the, on the silk screen on the board, it has a shape of this moss and it's kind of a shape of a D and it just goes down on the board in the same way that the silk screen has got it printed on the board. So let's go ahead and solder that one in. And there we go. On there. So let's clip this. All right, now let's move on to step 12. Install one piece, 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor at C2. Usually when you see that, that's usually always the negative. But also I guess you can tell by the shorter lead is the negative, the longer lead, lead is the positive. 
most circuit boards that I've seen, the negative always has these little um, like <laughs> parking lot, don't park here lines. <laughs> and, and part of the, on the negative side and the positive side is always uh, seems to be nothing in it. So the longer lead is the positive. So we're gonna put the longer lead in the positive, the shorter lead. Oh, I need to go to my magnifying glass again. And the shorter lead goes in the negative side and see the line on the capacitor, which is, you'll see on most capacitors, you have that line. It's always the negative. The other side is the positive. And I wanted to show you some other capacitors. Same thing. There's that line down it. That's the negative side. And then the positive side don't really have anything at all. Just, but always the side that has that line is, that's how you can tell what the negative side of a capacitor is usually. Okay, let's solder this in. The quicker we solder, the quicker we get this done. And hopefully it works. So keep your fingers crossed for me. Because this is my first time ever doing this. So let's just hope that it actually works when I get it completed. But I tell you what, there's there's a step coming up that's really going to give me some some practice at soldering, that's for sure. Now step 13, install one piece 3 pin mail pin at pin P1. P1 is right right there. So that 3 pin goes into P1. Then we will turn it upside down and solder that. Okay, right now the three pin is on there. Okay, step 14. Install one 50 kilo ohm potentiometer at RP1. RP1, that is the dimmer switch at RP1. Okay, there we go. All right, that is the dimmer switch. So let's solder that in. Okay. Hey, right, that's in there. So let's set this one out of the way. One piece bend pin on P2 on the charging board. Okay, there is P2. So this goes, wow, these holes are so teeny. <laughs> it's hard to see without my magnifying glass. So yeah, P2. Then the pins go right down into those two little holes. Then flip it over and let's solder it. I don't know if I can zoom in anymore without going out of focus.
Okay, so there it's in. Okay, so now let's see. Step 16, install battery charging module onto P1. Okay, so P1 would be right there. Battery charging module. We go right on there like that. Little piece of blue tack in here to hold it up. Okay, let's solder that on now. All right, and it looks like we got that pretty level. Solder doesn't look too bad. All right, we're getting closer. Step 17, release potentiometer adjusting plate. It is recommended to use scissors or pliers to break the connection. So, Let's Oh, there it is. Okay, that came off pretty easy. And easy peasy, there she is. All right, now step 18 identify the positive and negative lead of LED. The leads of the LED must be installed correctly, otherwise the LED cannot be turned on. Here are four methods according to the length of the LED lead to distinguish. The longer pin is positive, the shorter pin is negative. Identify the negative of the LED is to look into the plastic case where another, oh, this is another way. Look into the plastic case where one can see the negative is much thicker right here. It's much thicker, which indicates the negative and the smaller, thinner one is the positive. Okay, so it's time. I'm gonna say now it's time to do the long part. And that is the LED board. What's cool about these, I like the way they did this because on the board itself, the silk screening, they put a little, see how it's round? And then right here, it's flat on all of them. The flat part is the negative. On the LED, the bulbs themselves, it's hard to see, but the one side is flat while the other side is round just like on the silk screen so i guess you just got to be real careful how you put them in but remember the short one is the negative the long lead is the positive you have got to be kidding me oh my goodness all right that's okay that's the board soldered together i've, I've got it soldered together I cannot believe I messed that up. I keep forgetting to look into my little monitor that gives me a preview of what all the cameras are going out to. But I had that stuck on step 19 the whole time I soldered this board. Oh, goodness gracious. But anyway, for somebody who's never soldered before, that looks, I like that. I think that looks I think that looks pretty good. I've never done this before in my life other than just fixing things and desoldering things and soldering wires together and but never any boards like this putting capacitors and resistors and diodes and 
MOSFETs and things and boards. I've never done that before. So I guess the true test will be at the end if it actually works. <laughs> so, oh man, that sucks. All right. Step 20, red black wire on the board, black to negative. Other end of the wire is inserted through the top of the lamp post. Be careful not to push too fast. I wonder if that's what this was for. <laughs> because in the, uh, there I go again. In the directions, it shows a red and black wire, but this is just a clear wire. Is this going to reach all the way out? And I guess it will. So, we just have to... Um, uh, okay, well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a red stripe on one on the one wire. So, we're going to use that as positive. Wow, that's a little wire. A little wire. I can probably use my fingernail to... To strip that. Okay, so now that wire that's got the red stripe on it, we're going to put that in the positive. The other one, we're going to put in the negative. The wire with the red stripe goes on the positive. Sorry, I have to use my magnifying glass again to see. And then let's Okay, positive, is that one positive? All right, now that we have that wire on there, then we need to push it through. came through the other side all right now we have to put the shade on and there's a notch in here and that notch will go where these wires go through and then that's what I'm sure that's what all of these screws are for well not all of them are for that All right, so now we got to we have to plug the dimmer switch in. Okay, now we got to install the board into the base. Okay, so now got to um, put the wire through that base. 
and it's got a little key in there that it won't it only goes in one way Yeah, I gotta be careful. You gotta be careful tightening these things. I already stripped one <laughs> on here. Um, yeah, because it's just these are self-tapping screws going into into plastic. So yeah, you gotta be careful. Okay, now we need to strip us back some wire. Yeah, it has a. Yeah, I love this thing. This thing. I love it, love it, love it. But when it comes to wires this small, it's it's kind of a hit and miss. All right, so now we need to solder this uh, right there. P4. Positive, negative. That's where this wire goes. And then remember, on this wire, because it's not red and black like the picture shows, it has a red stripe on one of the wires, and that was the positive. So that's what, that's where we're going to make sure we, all right, I'm going to need my magnifying glass again. I got to make sure you guys can see. <laughs> all right. Okay, this was the side that had the red wire. All right, let's solder that in there. All right, I guess this is the moment of truth because the next thing you do is to plug in the battery. Oh, man, I am nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, boy, I'm nervous. Let me zoom out here. All right, so I'm scared it's not going to work. Okay, just remember, people, that this is the first time I've ever attended anything like this. So if it works, it's incredible. But if it doesn't work, then that's why. This is my first time ever doing it. All right, enough talk. Let's, okay, Steve, shut up and let's turn it on to see if you did it. <laughs> All right, here we are at the moment of truth. Did I build this right? Did I do it right? Did I mess up? We shall see. I finished putting it all together, putting the base back, base on it. All the soldering was done. So I didn't want to make you set through me, you know, putting the base on it and putting four screws in it. So I've got it all together and we're going to now turn it on and see if it works. <laughs> did, did I do it now? Cause like I said, this is the first time in my life that I've ever done this. Um, I have done a lot of soldering, soldering wires together, uh, re-soldering components on boards, but never from scratch. Have I put components in a board and tried to build something? So, but the, I mean, this was actually kind of exciting. And the only thing that I really regret is the LED bulb part. I thought I had put it back over to the bench when I started that. But then I got all the way done and I was like, oh my goodness. I can't believe that I forgot I didn't turn it off. I didn't turn it back onto the bench and it was still sitting on the computer after all that soldering. This was actually quite interesting. I actually might want to do another kit sometime because this was actually, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word I'm looking for now. But anyway, let's take a look at the finished product and turn it on and see if it works. And that would be that camera over there. All right, here it is. Now I wanna turn this light off so that way you'll be able to see this. All right, here goes nothing. We're gonna turn it on. 
Oh my. <laughs> it works. All right, just so you know, I'm unplugging. Now it's running on the battery only. Um, this battery, when I when I plug it in, it's it's actually throwing more juice into it. This battery is fully charged, but evidently this is a cheap battery. Even though it was enjoyable building this, I tell you, to me it's not as bright as I thought it was going to be. This is what I would recommend if you get this to use. Now you might be looking at this and say, oh my goodness, that's plenty bright enough. I'm positive that two of these batteries will fit in here. Put them in parallel. The battery that it comes with, yeah, it's one of those cheap ones. I bet if I did a capacity test on it, it's no more than 800 milliamps. So that's it, beautiful, it works, it works. <laughs> I. That was exciting. That's exciting for me. Because like I say, that's the first time I've tried anything like that. And it works. It works. <laughs> it's beautiful. Successfully completing my very first project build. So interesting. I'm leaving a link to this kit in the description if you would like to get it for yourself or Okay, you know what this would be great for? It would be great for somebody that maybe your son is wanting to get into soldering. Maybe he's dabbling around a little bit. This would be such an incredible gift to get for him or for her, your daughter, to learn how to solder. If you yourself are are getting into soldering, you want to get more advanced, this would be good to to practice with to get you know to learn to solder. I know this wasn't the best solder jobs and I know there's going to be a lot of people that be like mercy sake Steve <laughs> but I don't solder that much nothing like that but I don't know I don't think it was too bad for my first try I'm gonna cut this off now <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got something out of this if you have any questions please ask if there's anything that you would like to see me do please ask anything that you need help with just ask me and I will do my best to create a video to help you with that task. I'm going to end this like I always do. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Find someone that needs to laugh and make them howl. Take care of yourself. God bless and I will see you the next time.